everybody and welcome back for the channel thank you for coming back to watch so today I'll be talking about how to build the ailerons for that I brought also some other models that I made in the past so we'll see how, how that goes so the the main challenge or one of the challenges of building the aileron is to get the pieces to move right so I've taken these two old pieces of balsa and let's imagine that one of them is the wing and the other one is the movable part, right? If they're like this, they will not move well. So there needs to be some kind of adaptation. Either on the aileron or on the wing itself or on both sides. Okay, so I've brought two models in which I've followed different approaches. Right, on the Spitfire build that I did, and you can see the video um, in the channel, I actually did the modification at the top and at the bottom of the aileron piece okay so let's see if i explain that a little bit better basically if we imagine that this is the aileron this part what i did i cut out a little bit at the top and at the bottom and i did the same thing also where it was connecting to the to the wing so there would be space at the bottom and at the top to move and that meant that I had to put the hinge in the middle. So I put the hinge down the middle. I'm not sure if it's very visible or not, but that's basically how it is. I think I can actually take out part of the, of the aileron. So there you see that it's, it's kind of rounded out. I'm not sure if you can see it actually, but the hinge is in the middle. If you see the little bit of plastic sticking out, that is in the middle at the middle height okay so that's one approach that could be done um, then on on a previous model I made which was the gladiator and one day maybe I'll talk a bit more about it what I did was I kept the bottom of the aileron flush and I just cut an angle in the top part of the aileron here see if I can point at it here so it actually cuts in at an angle. That means that the hinge was at the bottom and then the top has a big gap. So what I did, I also left some of the paper there sticking out to make sure there was a bit better of a, of a flow over the wing. This model has not flown yet. I'm not sure if it ever will, so, but we'll see if, it, if it's good or not. So what I want to do now with the Mosquito, I want to take kind of the third option, which is, first of all, I'm going to need to cut off the pieces. So I'll saw here and saw the ribs, the backs of the ribs and saw it off here also. And then what I want to do is actually I have to rebuild putting another main spar, let's say for the aileron. And then I want to put the, the hinge in the top part. Let's see how that works. They are gonna have all three models, all three ways. I don't know which is better or which is worse. So if anybody knows, then of course, let me know. Um, the other question is also how to put in the hinges. So far what I'm doing, I'm just using little bits of plastic and you can buy actually these bits of plastic for, for hinges. I don't know if you can see it actually because it's, they're very small. Let's see if I put it here. Okay, there, I don't know if you can see now that little bit of plastic, that's a hinge. Uh, but I think you could probably use almost any piece of plastic, like some thin plastic it could be, it could be used. And, uh, and then to put it in. I know that some people also putting hinges here. I've seen that. But I haven't found many instructions on what is the best way, maybe easiest and most sturdy way to build the aileron. So of course, if somebody has a better idea, just let me know. This is the approach that I'm going to follow now. As I say, cut, 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 rebuild. I'm going to put in a spar here that's going to go at an angle because I want to put the hinge at the top. So if I look at it here, it'll come in at an angle like this. So it will move upwards, it won't have anything that will stop it and it will have an angle to be able to move downwards also. So this is kind of the angle that that, uh, that I'll take. Okay, so let's see, I'll, I'll start to work on that and then I'll, I'll update you when I have at least something built. So here's the status of the aileron build. So let me pull it out without breaking anything. So this one actually went better. Um, there it is and I don't know if you can notice it but the hinge goes in at an angle and that is so that it stays somehow straight within. I'll put it in later, I need both hands. But basically what I did, I cut 
with this saw blade, didn't find anything better. I cut off the leading edge and I cut off the one, two, three, four, five ribs that are that were connecting it. And then I built up like a copy of the rear spar on this side. And uh, I also had to build then, uh, a new rib there and uh, a little bit of a rib at the other end also so that it's um, so that it fits. Then with the very small pieces of plastic that are the hinges, I don't know if you can actually see this, this is very difficult to see, there you might see it. Then I, I cut the slots into the, into the aileron and into the rear spar so that it sits in there. On this other side, I didn't do it so well, I did this one actually before that, but it's, it's not fitting so snug so I'm still not sure what to do, how to fix this. Um, and also the hinges, they're, they're not at an angle, so it droops much more. So I might still need to work a little bit more on this. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about this one. But uh, still, quite a lot of detailed work on that. Next thing I might do, might also be to try to connect then the, the horns to the ailerons to see if it turns. I'm not sure if I'll do that. But yeah, like quite a lot of, as I say, detailed work, at least an hour work on each aileron, I would say. I'm not I'm not the fastest but it does it does take uh, its time and I still have to fix this one I have to figure out how maybe it doesn't actually matter that it's a bit um, a bit loose because then the the servo actually when it moves yeah, you can see it when it moves the horn it'll it'll balance it out but uh, I'll see how I do that so so let's see so that's the the aileron build next will be maybe electronics I have to figure out how I'm going to do the whole electronics with uh, one ESC and two motors that are brushed, so it should work, but I've never tried it, so I might have to investigate a little bit there. But anyhow, the ailerons, thank you everybody for watching. As usual, please subscribe, leave me some comments, especially if you see something that I can do better, that would be really very much appreciated. So, thank you everybody, talk to you later.